and of course, as I'm arriving in Spain, I've got my uh, duo, say <laughs> no. <laughs> my lovely brother-in-law and my sister. First time in Granada? First time in Granada airport. Oh, first time in Granada airport, exciting, yeah. yes? <laughs> tak. Yeah, we are gonna do Ada, she's going to do a free tour for us. <laughs> We've reached, of course, Ibis Hotel and we'll stay here for two nights and experience Granada in Spain during Easter. Oh. Now it's time to do the welcome drinks. Okay. Oh. Lovely, where's the pool? Very happy to be at Ibis. Of course, I've got short. <laughs> now we're in the center of Granada. Where are we? Do you know? <laughs> no. Well, we're in the old town, but it's full of life. It's Easter season, so it's Semana Santa. Lots of tourists. And we have so to nice find to a place to eat. And it's 11 o'clock. We should be able to find something, you know? Some tapas. When is Spain? Sangria, of course. As everything is closed, the only option we had was toasties. In cafe football. Now we are seeing the procession, is it called procession? Procession, yeah. Yeah, it's a traditional thing in Spain during Easter holidays. And it's also taking place in the evening. It's actually so nice to see it live. It is our day two in Granada. I like I like your glasses, Matrix. You like it? <laughs> Not Matrix. The other ones are Matrix. This is how Spanish people eat. Always olive oil. We are starting our day with some breakfast, Spanish style. Always putting olive oil on everything. Is that how you eat it? But also I will have some, even though I have allergy, I will have some jamón. So, of course, coffee with milk. The music. Oh. Wow, we are changing hotels because I've realized that I booked only Ibis for one night and it's fully booked due to the Semana Santa. But luckily we found something reasonable. 
few minutes away from my bus. Hopefully, it will be even better. Let's check the next hotel. Oh, it's very retro. Do you prefer this kind of hotel? Uh, this kind of hotel. Okay. It's more homey and um, traditional. Very more traditional. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, Cheating on upper hotels. <laughs> Let's check the room. Mm -hmm. um, I remember now that That's our upgrade one. for my bus. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Now actually look, we have a desk. We are getting some essentials as it is a holiday. Well actually today as well, so many shops are closed. Now we are walking to the old town to start our sightseeing tour. But we're lucky. <laughs> So get cola cacao, traditional cacao. So it's next week, no? Yeah, it's like next week. Yeah. Visiting Granada and Spain during Easter is something special. Just the cities feel so different. Obviously parades take place all day on Friday, Saturday and Sundays from what I've read. I saw one last night, I think I'll still see another one later today. Now we are exploring the old town of Granada and that's the capital of Granada and the city is quite busy but it's absolutely amazing. It's one of my favorite Spanish cities so far and I think exploring it in Semana Santa is even better. <laughs> What happened? Well, I'm just buying a beer. We are walking to Al Basin and we are passing through some Moroccan streets with lots of Moroccan restaurants because obviously the history of Granada is very connected to the Arab world and it's absolutely amazing. Just feeling all the spices here is amazing. Is it nicer to see the city during the Easter season than normal time? More people.
now we're having a short break, some lunch. And I'm having a party and we're having vegetable soup. And dill and double vegetable soup. Marta, zdrowie. Na zdrowie, na zdrowie. Witardo. The How was your food? It didn't start. It didn't start even. And we are having our first supper, like well to asparagus <laughs> with prawns. That's like a scrambled egg mixed with the asparagus and prawns. It looks a bit not that appealing, but I'm sure it's tasty. Mm. Good morning. We've just woken up and we're having express breakfast. Hello. So now we are outdoors. We are. <clears throat> we are outdoors, and we still have to wear a face mask, um, which is a bit of a pain. One of the most important places to visit in Granada is the Alhambra, which is a famous palace which is significant to the Islamic world as it's one of the best preserved uh, palaces in the historic Islamic world and also the site contains bits of the Spanish Renaissance but I was told that to explore the site needs a bit of time I mean quite a few hours and I wonder how much time I will need to explore this beautiful site but that, that basically building rem reminds us of the Islamic heritage in Spain especially in Andalusia I have to keep my rugs like in the front but now we are visiting the Palacios Nazarias now we are going up very nice That's the nicest spot in Alhambra, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You can see a lot of the Islamic heritage, like I said earlier, but also bits of inscriptions uh, reminding us of the Spanish Empire. Yes? Mm -hmm. Which is nice that uh, the Spanish monarchs didn't destroy the Arabic or, shall I say, Islamic heritage, and it's still preserved until today. Nice views. Yesterday we were on the other side yes. in Albacin. Now we are in Alhambra. Thank you. 
Sword. on the old city on the other side you can see Sierra Nevada you can actually get here as well some nice views over the city in the distance you can see the cathedral of Granada stunning but it's quite busy and you have to queue to enter certain sites within Alhambra itself and you have to keep showing your ticket as well so it may take a bit of time probably that's why it takes ages to explore the site Now we decided to stop for some food on our way to Cadiz. Here we have in some fish. You know why it's so fun. Yeah. Continue our trip. Yes. Was it the meal good? Yeah, it was good. No. Good. It was healthier than the other one. No. Like our one. Yeah. We stopped at some lake close to Zahara on the way to Cadiz and it was quite difficult to get to but I don't think we'll have a swim but it looks very pretty and it's super hot No Bad people were being corn Corn! Oh yes I thought the same San Fernando almost Marta, we're having our meal now in San Fernando Ricardo's hometown Aprovecho Ricardo <laughs> One of the best things about Spain is seafood Even though you can get it back home it's more fresh here. Mm. Very good. How is it called? Samburino. Samburino. The best. Ahora ahora que el visito nosotros. Hola. Dime algo. Bienvenido a España. Cuando el tiempo está mejor. Oh, gracias. Sí. Te tengo un regalo para ti. Oh, es un regalo de Polonia. Vodka. Sí. Para con ustedes. Oh. ¿Te vemos ahora? That's a nice way to celebrate Easter with such a sunshine. Now we are going to the beach. It's a nice way to celebrate Easter. Happy Easter. How is it in Spanish? Huh? Buena Pascua. Wishing you all happy Semana Santa. Happy Easter all the way from Spain. Another visit to Cadiz, first time 2022, doing the same tour, right? Now back in the center of Cadiz and we are walking towards the cathedral and possibly we will also have some tapas here. 
Marta says apparently there's are some Polish immigrants doing the bubbles here. Uh, hmm, yes, I can feel the Slavic spirit. <laughs> yes. in the background. The weather is absolutely amazing and I'm a bit sad that back home in Poland it's so much colder. The Cadiz is always great. Great place for a short city break. We are at La Caleta beach. Our last stop today. It was last stop the previous one. Was that yeah. One? That no? was... Finally, we are trying snails. It's one of the things that don't open. It's traditional. Say goodbye. See you sometime later, yeah? Buenos dias. Hola. Greetings from Jerez de la Frontera Airport. I'm about to travel back to Warsaw and I'll be flying via Madrid. Now I'm about to fly on a small Bombardier aircraft of Iberia Air Nostrum. 